I've done my fair share of animal rescue stories here in Connecticut, but never one quite like this. Welcome to Ferncroft Wildlife Rescue in Woodstock, run by Pamela and Bill Lefferts. They rescue a very specific animal, the opossum, like Patch here. Not a possum, but an opossum. A possum, there's about 300 species of them, and most of them are in Australia, in South America. They even look different. They're actually adorable. They look an awful lot like a chinchilla, many of them. An opossum is the only marsupial that we have in North America. And a marsupial is an animal that has a pouch that they carry their babies in a pouch. I've only seen them dead on the road. Mm. Are they dumb or what? No, but they tend to be slow, and there are certain times of the year where you see them more often than not. Slow because of the babies they're carrying. An opossum is only pregnant for 12 or 13 days. Oh my God. Right, and what they give birth to is actually a little embryo. They have no back legs, they have no ears, they have no eyes. What they have are front legs, a mouth and a nose. And they climb from the birth canal up to that little pouch. And they latch on to mama and they live there for two months. Now I think they're cute little buggers, but there is a warming up process. Scott Haney. I'm so busy. Come over here. <laughs> Scott Haney, come over here. It will take you one minute. Now don't be such a baby. Mm. Get over here. I am a teacher. <laughs> Look at the face he's making. After a little coaxing, I'm in. They really are oftentimes called the, the garbage men um, out in the woods. They eat grubs, they eat ticks, they eat uh, mice, rodents, carrion. Uh, they're non-aggressive. A lot of people think they're ugly mostly because of that tail. Yeah. And therefore, very little research has been done on them. Only in about the last 10 years have we had some really good research to Whoa. understand them. And most of the opossums that come in injured are outside being rehabilitated and hopefully eventually released. But in addition to Patch, Pam has two others inside, Bella and Mango. They're known as ambassador opossums. An ambassador is a non-releasable animal. We'll talk about opossums, but it could be any wildlife. A non-releasable animal that you get a special permit from the federal government to be able to keep that animal. You also have to have it certified by a vet and the state has to approve. And then you can use that animal as an educational animal. Okay. Um, and bring them out and do public shows with them. And that's what we do. Um, we really, that really is what I think we like doing the best is right. educating the public. I, I was part of the public. I didn't know anything about wildlife rehabbing. I know a lot now. But one thing is it's considered a voluntary job. It's a volunteer job. Mm. So the state and the federal government, they don't give you any money. They charge you money, you know, for the permit, for the permits and stuff. So we rely on the public and donations. And we do fundraisers. Um, and we do programs and we charge a small fee. It, 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 you, we don't charge, we ask for a donation if we do a program. And that's how we're able to continue to do the work because it is a very, it's an expensive volunteer work. This past year, they got funding from what might sound like an unusual source, a realty company here in Connecticut. Rockoff Realty, owned by Kevin and Kathy Rockoff, have a program known as Rockoff Realty for the Rescues. We try to help any local rescue organization in Connecticut that, uh, that needs it. The chisel. Doesn't make a difference what the animal is. No, no. It's just about raising awareness for rescues and pick your animal. Pick what, what you like. Uh, you know, we've donated to horse rescue farms. We've donated to dog and cat shelters. And now we have opossums. That's their niece, Kayla Lockhart, who's also a realtor with the company, handling the opossums. She's a pro, much better than me. Oh my gosh, Walk Off Realty saved us. We, when we got into the opossums, we found that they weren't wilding up the way they should because when you take in an animal to rehab it, you need to make sure it stays wild if you're gonna release it, and that is our goal, is to release them. And we decided to build an adolescent clinic so that we could bring them down there. Well, like any other building project, halfway through, <laughs> we ran out of money because of course it was costing way more than we thought. 
And it was like, I don't know, it was like a gift from heaven. All of a sudden, I heard from Kathy Brockoff that she had seen our program and really wanted to help us. And they sent us a donation that we had stopped construction that had allowed us to continue and finish the construction of that clinic. While the Lefferts have only been doing this work for five years, they've saved a lot of opossums. Yeah, we're new. Okay. We're, we're old, but we're new. <laughs> How many have I saved? So this year, we've taken in about 62. I, I tell you something, though. Just from the local area, 62? Yeah, well, from the state. From the state. Although we have permits for Massachusetts and for Rhode Island, but we usually take in animals just from Connecticut, and we travel all over the state. We go far northwest, and we go down to the shore, and... Um, to get a possum. Yeah, and to Opossum. do programs, oh, and, and to, to do, do programs. programs. There's a real sense of accomplishment when you can take a tiny little neonate and watch it grow and then release it. So I didn't make a difference in the world, but I made a difference to that opossum. You certainly did make a difference to the world. Yeah, it matters. One, one opossum at a time. <laughs> it's true. It's absolutely true.